get a lot of questions about the Gen 4 bench harness and everybody wants a DIY on how to do that so I figured I'd just give you a DIY on how to do both Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS bench harnesses. Pretty simple all you have to do is provide power and ground and then you need your data signals from the ECM that go back to the OBD2 port. So on the Gen 3, you've got four powers, 19, 20, 57, and 75. Two grounds that are pins number 1 and 40, and then one data signal wire that's number 58. So these are a little simpler. You only have one ground wire, and that's pin number 73. Two power wires, that's number 19 and 20. But then there's two wires for the data signal, and it runs off a of CAN buzz. So you have a positive and negative. And those are number 27 and 28 on the ECM. TCM here, very, very similar. One ground again, number 49. And then for the power, we got 31 and 32. And then the CAN buzz wires off of this one are number 6 and number 7. So for the OBD2 port, Gen 3, we only have the one signal. So you have your signal wire, your data signal, pin number 58 goes here to pin number 2 on your OBD2 port. And then I got two grounds hooked together. And one power. Now all the the power and the grounds are all the same for all of the OBD2 ports. So power is number 16 all the way on the bottom right. And then the grounds are 4 and 5. So I just tie those two together. Now for the Gen 4 harness. Same thing power and grounds. But you have your CAN buzz. And, I don't know, the positive goes up here on top, and that's number 6. And then the negative goes down here. I think, yeah, pin 14 there. So, I'm going to add the TCM to my current bench harness that I have here. Make sure that all works. I'll probably just leave this one here at the house. And then I'm going to make another one that has both the Gen 4... ECM, TCM, and then I'm going to also include the Gen 3 so that I just have to have one harness when I go places. We'll see how this works out. 